Welcome back. In this video, we will compare serotonin syndrome with neuroleptic malignant syndrome and malignant hyperthermia. Serotonin syndrome is caused by excess of serotonin, and the most common cause is the use of monoamine oxidase inhibitors without waiting for the two weeks washout period. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome is caused by overuse of antipsychotics. And malignant hyperthermia is caused by genetic-induced hypersensitivity to anesthesia, specifically succinylcholine, which means that these patients are more sensitive to anesthesia than others. All of these syndromes can have very similar and sometimes identical presentations. They all present with fever and autonomic instability. Interestingly, only serotonin syndrome can have tremors, while malignant hyperthermia and NMS have rigidity. So if you're lost in between these syndromes, look at the history. If it mentions tremors, this is likely serotonin syndrome. And if it mentions rigidity of the muscles, look for history of anesthesia. If so, this is malignant hyperthermia. If not, it's neuroleptic malignant syndrome. We treat serotonin syndrome by discontinuing the offending agent, then supportive therapy, and then by ciprohepatidine. The same goes for neuroleptic malignant syndrome as we discontinue the therapy, then by supportive therapy, and finally by using dantrolene or bromocryptine. Dantrolene is a very powerful antipyretic agent. And the same goes for malignant hyperthermia as we discontinue anesthesia then try some supportive therapy, and finally we add dentrolin. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following antipsychotic medications is most likely to cause neuroleptic malignant syndrome? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.